Hello everyone and welcome to class. Uh, I am excited to read this article from Brainology to you guys. It goes very well with our lesson yesterday about our growth mindset survey and we took a class tally to see whether we had a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Remember, we're always going to try to have that growth mindset, knowing that with hard work and determination, you can actually grow your intelligence. And surprise, that's the name of our article today, or the title, I should say. As I read, make sure that you guys are highlighting anything interesting or important you find in the article that will help you with the writing activity that will complete after this. You can grow your intelligence. New research shows the brain can be developed like a muscle. Many people think of the brain as a mystery. They don't know much about intelligence and how it works. When they do think about what intelligence is, many people believe that a, per a person is born either smart, average, or dumb, and stays that way for life. I don't like the word dumb. But new research shows that the brain is more like a muscle it changes and gets stronger when you use it. And scientists have been able to show just how the brain grows and gets stronger when you learn. Everyone knows that when you lift weights, your muscles get bigger and you get stronger. A person who can't lift 20 pounds when they start exercising can get strong enough to lift 100 pounds after working out for a long time. That's because the muscles become larger and stronger with exercise. And when you stop exercising, the muscles shrink and you get weaker. That's why people say, use it or lose it. But most people don't know that when they practice and learn new things, parts of their brain change and get larger a lot like muscles do when they exercise. Heading over to the right column, a section of the cerebral cortex. Inside the cortex of the brain are billions of tiny nerve cells called neurons. The nerve cells have branches connecting them to other cells in a complicated network. Communication between these brain cells is what allows us to think and solve problems. A typical nerve cell. When you learn new things, these tiny connections in the brain actually multiply and get stronger. The more that you challenge your mind to learn, the more your brain cells grow. Then, Things that you once found very hard or even impossible to do, like speaking a foreign language or doing algebra, seems to become easy. The result is a stronger, smarter brain. Please flip the page. Make sure that you guys are keeping up with your highlighting of anything you find interesting or important that will make the writing after this a little easier. How do we know the brain can grow stronger? Scientists started thinking that the human brain could develop and change when they studied animals' brains. They found out that animals who lived in a challenging environment with other animals and toys to play with were different from animals who lived alone in bear cages. While the animals who lived alone just ate and slept all the time, the ones who lived with different toys and other animals were always active. They spent a lot of time figuring out how to use the toys and how to get along with other animals. 
Let's take a look at the picture. Effect of an enriched environment. On the left, you'll see nerves and brain of animal living in bear cage. And then on the right, you'll see a photo of a brain, the brain of an animal living with other animals and toys. So having an environment where your brain is stimulated can grow your intelligence. Going to the paragraph under the photos, these animals had more connections between the nerve cells in their brains. The connections were bigger and stronger too. In fact, their whole brains were about 10% heavier than the brains of the animals who lived alone without toys. The animals who were exercising their brains by playing with toys and each other were also smarter. They were better at solving problems and learning new things. Heading to the right column at the top, even old animals got smarter and developed more connection in their brains when they got the chance to play with new toys and other animals. When scientists put very old animals in the cage with younger animals and new toys to explore, their brains, all, <laughs> their brains also grew by about 10%. children's brain growth. Another thing that got scientists thinking about the brain growing and changing was babies. Everyone knows that babies are born without being able to talk or understand language, but somehow almost all babies learn to speak their parents' language in the first few years of life. How do they do this? The key to growing the brain, practice. From the first day they are born, babies are hearing people around them talk all day, every day to the baby and to each other. They have to try to make sense of these strange sounds and figure out what they mean in a way. Babies are exercising their brains by listening hard. Later, when they need to tell their parents what they want, they start practicing talking themselves. At first, they just make goo-goo sounds. Then, words start coming. And by the time they are three years old, most can say whole sentences almost perfectly. Once children learn a language, they don't forget it. The child's brain has changed. It has actually gotten smarter. This can happen because learning causes permanent changes in the brain. The baby's brain cells get larger and grow new connections between them. These new, stronger connections make the child's brain stronger and smarter, just like a weightlifter's big muscles make them strong. Flipping the page to the last page of the article, page 11 at the bottom, and I see some more pictures with a caption. Let's take a look. Growth of neuron connections in a child from birth to six years old at birth on the picture in the left, and then look at all that intelligence growth by age six. Heading to the two last subtopics of this article, please keep strong with your highlighting of anything interesting or important that you read. <clears throat> the real truth about quote smart and quote Dumb. No one thinks babies are stupid because they can't talk. They just haven't learned how to yet. But some people will call a person dumb if they can't solve math problems 
or spell a word right or read fast, even though all these things are learned with practice. At first, no one can read or solve equations, but with practice, they can learn to do it. And the more a person learns, the easier it gets to learn new things because their brain muscles have gotten stronger. The students everyone thinks as the smartest may not have been born any different from anyone else. But before they started school, they may have started to practice reading. They had already started to build up their reading muscles. Then, in the classroom, everyone said, that's the smartest student in class. Next column. They don't realize that any of the other students could learn to do as well if they exercised and practiced reading as much. Remember, all of those other students learn to speak at least one whole language already, something that grown-ups find very hard to do. They just need to build up their reading muscles too. Last section. What can you do to get smarter? Just like a weightlifter or a basketball player to be a brain athlete, you have to exercise and practice. By practicing, you make your brain stronger. You also learn skills that let you use your brain in a smarter way, just like a basketball player learns new moves. But many people miss out on the chance to grow a stronger brain because they think they can't do it or that it's just too hard. It does take work, just like becoming stronger physically or becoming a better ball player does. Sometimes it even hurts. But when you feel yourself get better and stronger, all the work is worth it. The end. Great job following along, everyone. At this time, let's go ahead and put the caps in our highlighters and grab our pens and pencils for a main idea writing exercise. Thanks everyone.